What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and you know we had to do it to him. Magispector Unicorn just came back and uh, I'm really excited. I want to be showing off of course this Magispector deck profile post ban list but I do want to say that this is also post Legacy of Destruction because that set comes out in like a week or two at this point. So I just wanted to build the deck for both post ban list with the Kirin back but also post lead with you know the anticipation of Tempai and whatnot right. So just keep that in mind and uh, this is a deck that I did not too long ago on the channel but it bringing Kieran back is absolutely insane and I think I have a really really solid build for today's video so uh with that being said let's get right into it but make sure to like and subscribe as always there's gonna be a lot of post bandless deck profiles coming out soon so let's get right into the deck profile so first things first of course is uh the one Magic Spectre Unicorn Kieran Kieran of course is one of the best cards in the deck it's pretty much the deck's boss monster for anyone who doesn't know this card's been banned for a while but essentially all it is is a bounce but that's really really good because if you're putting up uh two three disruptions with this deck and if you guys haven't seen my combo videos there's a one card combo or 1.5 card combo where you end on three disruptions and now you're going to be able to end on this as well with the exact same combo so that's why kieran is, is absolutely insane it's just one of those cards that is going to add that next layer of disruption and it's just really really good because you're going to keep summoning it back out and it's a big beater for you as well now for the standard uh magic Spectre cards we're playing three bambuku of course uh three porcupine three yada and then we're playing the one fox and the one qb so the reason we're playing these ratios is because first of all uh, in terms of scales you're trying to get as equal scales as possible so this is a two this is a five this is a two these are fives there's another two in there as well this is also a two that you're kieran but the really cool thing about these is, is they essentially are the most consistent ones whether it's getting you a spell whether it's getting you a trap ogama specifically actually sets a card so this plays around ash which is really nice and uh, this gets you a monster of course so all all very very powerful cards and all really important for the consistency of the deck and uh, that's it for the monsters essentially for the magic specters you don't want to play too many of these because these are essentially what enable the rest of your plays being able to see just a bambuku on its own is really good if you're able to see like yada plus a wind which i'll talk about in a second that's also full combo so there's different ways to do full combos right and essentially all of these are just here to um get your kieran out and play kieran and, and, and maximize your uh, chances of doing this right and they setting up your boards i do want to say another thing that this ban list low-key did that uh, buffed this deck is anti-spell is now at one so if you're playing this deck or any pendulum deck you're you're pretty much safe actually because you're not you're never going to be worried about anti-spell anymore really which is really really nice so that's it for the monsters for the spells here we're playing three wind of course as well as the one cyclone these are really really powerful i still like playing this card just because it's like one of those one for one uh removals which is really nice it can come up wind of course is really important because this in junction with pretty much any of your magic specter names is, is full combo right so if you don't open bambuku this is kind of like your pseudo way of doing the same combo and then of course we're playing the one tornado and the one tempest these are really important as well just because you're ending on typically one of these at least on a minimum and if you draw one of course you can end on two which is really nice as well so that's it for the magic specter uh, spells and traps just the mo most important ones you don't want to brick on them and then uh we're not playing the draco slayer build so this is a pure build but we are still playing a little bit of a draco slayer package just uh the three majesty and then the one dynamite so dynamite is really good actually because it's an extender for you this is also a scale two so keep that in mind remember how i was talking about scales earlier this is also a scale two for you which is really good and it's always treated as a magic specter card so as in the name even though it doesn't say magic specter it's always treated as a magic specter card which is really important and then uh of course you're dynamite here as well it's a different scale this is an extender for anyone who doesn't know because it'll just uh, special summon this from your scale so it'll help do that and then this effect actually triggers when it's either special summoned by draco slayer or pendulum summoned so if you're not able to pendulum summon this you're going to be able to get it through this effect which is really really powerful right so that's really good in that sense and then this also searches your field spells which is one of the most important card parts of this deck because if you guys didn't notice um this is a spell caster but all of your magic specters here are all spell casters which is absolutely insane because we were just talking about how anti-spell got banned however even if anti-spell got banned this deck has access to secret village which is absolutely insane secret village is a crazy crazy card locks your opponent out of spell cards and in your combo you're actually always going to be able to get to this which is really insane right and then the last thing for field spell we're playing the one majesty's pegasus this is also an extender for you which is really nice but you're only playing the one because it doesn't actually help you combo it's just kind of like one of those extender cards so one on one all you're gonna need secret village of course absolutely insane card in today's format especially post ban list sky, sky striker is actually kind of insane so this kind of auto wins that matchup and then even against the fire matchups right they're going to be a lot more reliant on board breakers now just because of the way the format is so uh, this card is absolutely insane as well 
So that's it for the Draco Slayer slash Field Spell package. Then for consistency, we're playing three Prosperity. I still like Prosperity in this deck. Just seeing your combos is too, too important. And then even if you uh, have combo in hand, this seeing non-engine is also really, really important going first, right? So that's why I like Prosperity. Also going second, if you need to dig into your side deck, this digs into your side deck. Very, very important. So I like Prosperity. And then we're playing uh, the one called by and the two cross out. So cross out is insanely important in this deck. And the reason for that is because I'll explain it now. I feel like I missed it earlier. All of your main deck uh, Magic Spectre cards have an effect where they can't be targeted, which is insane because you're never going to be worried about Imperm. You're never going to be worried about Valor. However, the most important card in your extra deck, which is your Nui, doesn't have that effect. So for some reason, they had all the Magic Spectres have the effect where they can't be targeted, but the Nui can. So anybody will just kind of hold the Imperm or hold the Valor for this card. And this card is one of your main combo enablers. And you need to be able to protect this card. So the thing you want to do always is going to have your cross out or your call by as well. But your cross out is really important to protect this. And uh, that's why we're playing the cross out. And then we're playing just the best hand traps of the format. So I'm going to show you guys here. We are playing three Ash. We're playing two Valor, two Nib and three imperm so just the most uh, prominent hand traps the ones that we think we're going to see in this format and uh drool and lock is another really good one i think drool and lock is is uh kind of interesting you can definitely play it it's also a wind spellcaster funny enough so if you need to you can technically normal summon it with this and kind of combo but it's not really the best way to do it i just think nibiru is going to be absolutely insane in this format and you don't want to lose to a nibiru this deck does play into it pretty hard you can play one nib one drool if you guys wanted to i just think two nib is really good because if you are forced to go second this card is also really good into the format so if you draw this it's a really good hand trap for you but that's that's essentially what we're playing for the main deck it's 40 cards on the dot in the main deck i don't think i would go over 40 i think just because the consistency of the deck you really do need to see your combos and uh yeah that's why i want to play more than 40 i think 40 is perfectly fine now uh moving on to the extra deck extra deck i'm going to say is honestly pretty standard two nui two rio two and two is good you can play three of this i actually chose to play something else instead of a third one which i'll talk about in a second but two is perfectly fine so two and two all you're gonna need uh one of this and then one of the uh dynaster so this technically could be the third newie i don't see this coming up too often but because you're playing the dynamite knight or not dynamite knight dynamite draco slayer whatever the name is you can make this and it's kind of like protection for you so this could be a third newie but you could just prosper this away at any point if you need, need to right then we're playing the one ip one sp uh, one beyond, one exceed. Again, all just standard pendulum cards, uh, pendulum support cards. Playing the one Celine, one Apple, one Axis code. Also really good, powerful cards. This kind of help you with OTK. Uh, there are times where you can end on this as well. Less likely, but it's possible, which is why you're still playing it. And then lastly, we're playing the one Baguska as well as the one Zeus. Baguska was just one of those cards where you're playing a bunch of level four monsters. If you're ending on a rank four, this is something that you can end on if you don't see combo or if your opponent has hand traps or whatnot, you can just end on this, kind of stall out a turn and then uh, go back into full combo on your follow up. And then the one Zeus for this as well. Um, other options are Typhon. Again, like I said, you can play a third Nui. You can play Unicorn, which I'm not playing in here. There's a lot of really good options. It's just all toolbox, essentially. The main cards that you need are kind of like these ones right over here, I would say. After these, like this is kind of all just toolbox. I really like this extra deck. Wouldn't change it up. I think it's a good extra deck. And then uh, lastly for the side deck, uh, we're playing three Fenrir. I think Fenrir is actually pretty good in today's format. You could argue maining it. I just decided to main deck the, the crossouts instead. I think it just makes a little bit more sense. But going second, this card is absolutely insane into so many different decks right now. Three evenly matched as well. Really good into a lot of decks as well. If you're going second, that's kind of where this deck struggles. So you can cross, you can side out stuff like crossout and then side these in. Side out some of your other go first cards as well, siding these in. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster as well for back row. We can search field spells in this deck. So Necro Valley is really good against any kind of graveyard decks that you guys might see. Necro Valley is absolutely insane. So you can swap out secret village if you want to for a necro valley really really powerful card third cross out for uh, if you're going into game two or game three you know you're going to be going first and you don't want to lose the hand trap their cross out is really good now like i said earlier we are siding for lead and uh lead introduces tempai tempai is absolutely insane so three threatening or so we don't lose the tempai and then lastly three solemn judgment just the best going first card in the game but again side decks i'm going to say this i'm always going to say this it's always going to be up to personal preference and it's always going to be also be up to uh, what your locals is like right? if your local scene is all combo players make sure you side for combo if it's all back row players make sure you side for back row this kind of just covers a little bit of everything um another card that you guys can put in here is droll but uh just again one of those things where i just want to provide you guys with the skeleton and then you guys can do what you want with that skeleton so with that being said that is magic specter post ban list this is a pure build of course there's draco slayer builds i'm sure there's so many different kind of builds with uh, magic specter but this is a pure magic specter build that i think could be competitive in today's format and i'm really excited that kieran is back because it's one of the most powerful cards this deck has 
has access to and uh, now you're going to be able to set up so many different layers of disruption. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload seven days a week here on the channel. You guys are going to get five shorts and at least two of these videos, like these deck profiles, long style videos. However, with the ban list, there's going to be a lot of these coming out. So stay tuned for that. There might be more than seven videos a week. It's kind of crazy. So make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you, Alpha, for being the best cameraman on YouTube. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, thank you. Sign it out. Peace.